Welcome to ThinkTech on Spectrum OC16, Hawaii's weekly newscast on things that matter to tech and to Hawaii. I'm Jay Fidel. And I'm Cynthia Sinclair. In our show this time, we'll visit the annual ThinkTech Christmas holiday party and check out the people, the keynote, and the awards that were presented. The party was at the Laniakea YWCA. Lots of people came. Duane Carisu was the keynote, and six awards were presented to six worthy recipients. Every year, ThinkTech does a Christmas holiday party at Laniakea and invites its hosts and their guests for that year, as well as its staff and underwriters. That usually results in a party at which hundreds of people show up, and this year was no exception. It's a kind of reunion where the people who have participated in and supported our broadcasts can meet each other and compare notes about their experiences with ThinkTech. It's great fun and a real treat for everyone involved. After people started arriving at Laniakea, we took the opportunity to walk around before the program to say hi to people and find out what they had to say. Martin, what brings you down here? <laughs> Christmas time. This is the Christmas party, as you can hear here. So, us being Germans, where Christmas might have come from, or no? Oh, I mean, that's that's provocative, I guess. You know, provocative is allowed on this particular day. This is curing home homesickness here because you hear you have a Christmas tree, Tannenbaum, and that's a German tradition. Can we claim that? The Christmas tree, Tannenbaum, oh Tannenbaum, that song, yeah. You've been on Think Tech Hawaii, was it different than what you expected or was it, what, what was the experience like? Oh, it was lovely, it was amazing, I was very impressed with the studio setup, um, I loved, I wasn't expecting so many cameras, I thought maybe there'd just be one, but there were so many, uh, but no, I thought it was a really great experience, Marsha was an amazing host. I think our first steps are going to be to try and get some unity within the board, you know, um, as many people know, the boardroom has been pretty contentious for the last decade or so, so... Um, I'm hoping that given a lot of the new blood that has come in and some of the changes that hopefully come Monday when we have our first board meeting to reorganize, we can show the public some unity, which is something that the board has been missing. What I like most about ThinkTech is the diversity of views that they um, that they put out there. That's to me, that's really really awesome. You know, to have a, a TV station that's dedicated to such a wide diverse. Um, of opinions and um, viewpoints and outlooks is really, really awesome. You know, it's really critical, especially here in Hawaii, where we come from such a diverse um, peoples here. You know, we represent such a wide range of different ethnicities, beliefs, backgrounds. So to have a station that w is willing to represent all those different diversities is really, really awesome. You've been doing your show now for how long? It's been one year. Congratulations. Thank you, thank you. What I like about ThinkTech is it's open for discussion, where you can air and discuss views that you feel that are important to the public. And so Sister Empowering Hawaii, we embrace that, and we have many guests from many walks of life. Do you, have a, do you always feel it a bit of a challenge to have a guest appear and you know all the work that that takes and the coordination and just making sure that all it all comes together you know fortunately for me because I'm the president and founder of Sisters Empowering Hawaii and it's Hawaii's foremost women's empowerment organization I have a host of women who want to come on my show so that's not the challenge the challenge is getting their squeezing our appointment time with their appointment time because these women are very busy. The program at the party started with a great Oli by Brendan Clay Aina Lee, who is a trustee at OHA and has appeared numerous times on our shows. <laughs> After that, former Governor John Wahe'e introduced our keynote speaker, Dwayne Carisu, founder and chairman of IO, and who is a well-known Hawaii businessman, investor, and philanthropist. He talked about what it was like growing up in the plantation town and how people would go and live their values. You know, when you had a friend and he was at your home, you, may, you let him eat. 
You know, when somebody needed help, you would help them. When all of these values were, were, were actually being carried out. And I thought to myself, what a beautiful description. Because what I remember back then was we didn't talk about doing or living aloha. People lived it. In fact, Dwayne, I don't know what it was like at Hilo High School where you went to school, but in Honaka, if you went up and told somebody, live aloha, they would ask you, what, you mahu, brother? <laughs> you know what I mean? See? So what does, how did this all translate? And then I looked at his business career. And all of a sudden, it was very, very interesting because he began in real estate, but when the rest of the world was turning and making money or tearing companies up, Dwayne built his career and the reason why he had such a diverse portfolio by saving companies, by investing in companies that were going to be bought out, by making them prosperous again, and keeping business local and rescuing companies. And I thought, wow, this is a guy you want to know. But it goes beyond that. It goes beyond that. It goes to his commitment to demonstrate these values that he built his company on. You know, I, I remember Governor speaking to this group of young people that he talked about. Um, this was about two years ago. And after he was done, there are a number of young people that came up to me and said, hey, Dwayne, I think he should be governor. <laughs> I, I said, you know, he was governor before. Really. So I, I didn't know whether I should, I was laughing or crying, but <laughs> laughing because I was thinking, well, where, where did the time go? It seems like only yesterday that he was governor. And I wanted to cry because I felt that, man, th there's this cry for leadership. The governor talked a lot about growing up on a big island, and it's pretty, it's the foundation for like how I feel and see things today. When I was growing up, my father told me in his words and his, in his actions that you gotta put your all into everything that you do. Go think, do things with all your might because you get what you put into life. And for us growing up in a, a sugar plantation camp, I think we got more. So we were all like same, same economically. So some people may say it's poor, I would say it's like lower middle class. And like Governor said, we, you know, our, probably our most cherished um, virtues are really about, about, about friendship and about, and about caring for each other and characteristics like generosity and trust. Those were things that we valued rather than measuring each other by money. Uh, so back in that generation, in that time, um, community was the most important thing. And it was a time and place where, where it was more about we than I. And so when we thought about the homeless situation in Hawaii, we couldn't help but think about community as being an important part of shelter. So it's not only about shelter, but it's about community. And that gave birth to Ka uh, Kahawiki Village. It was about community. Six months after we started the project, there were 30 families waiting for their keys. And uh, I, there were a lot of children. And I saw this little boy and I instinctively reached out to him and said, come to uncle. And when I carried him and I, I held him in my arms and I looked at his eyes, I, I saw myself. I saw that this boy has hope and he has a chance to dream. And just like many of us who grew up in the sugar plantation camps, he had a chance to be like a school teacher, truck driver, and even a doctor. So Kawiki Village um, is right now a community of 30 homes but beginning january 2nd we're going to start building 114 more, home, more homes so at the end of the year there'll be 144 homes 
and IHS, in the Institute of Human Services, estimates that there will be 621 adults and children, or over half of the homeless families on this island. Governor Waihe'e then helped us present our six awards. The first three were for distinguished community service. The honorees were... First, Douglas Chin, Lieutenant Governor and former Attorney General of the State of Hawaii. A round of applause for our awardee, Doug Chin. Aloha, everyone. Thank you very much. It's happy holidays. It's great to see you all here. It's an honor to be here with, uh, with Jay Fidel and Governor Wahey, of course, as well as to hear uh, Dwayne Carisu's inspirational remarks. That's been awesome. Uh, you know, this last year, it was, uh, I had a great opportunity to be on some think tech shows. I got to be uh, on Rusty Komori's show, um, as well as Mark Shklov, uh, and, then, uh, and then a couple times with uh, Marsha Joyner. And, and each time, it, it always taught me so much about how there are so many voices uh, that come together to really be able to uh, make Hawaii uh, very, very special. And, and I think that's what Think Tech is all about. Um, I just wanted to point out, I'm not the Lieutenant Governor anymore. Josh Green is now the Lieutenant Governor. I'm a private citizen, so you can just call me Doug. And uh, um, thank you very much. I'm going to uh, cherish this award. I feel like I'm at the Academy Awards, so this is very nice. So thank you. <laughs> then Planned Parenthood of the Greater Northwest and the Hawaiian Islands. So representing Planned Parenthood of the Great Northwest Hawaiian Islands, Marjorie Au and Ray St. Chu are here to accept the award. And we are going to present it now. Thank you very much for honoring the clinicians, staff, and volunteers who've kept Planned Parenthood going for the last 50 years. And as Jay mentioned, we're opening a new clinic on Baratania Street in February 2019. So we look forward to serving the community for at least another 50 years. Thank you very much. Thank you, Marjorie. I just want to add my thanks to Think Tech and to Jay for his vision, and of course, Carol Mon Lee, my, my good friend uh, for many, many years, uh, for keeping the program going and her perseverance and patience. Finally, the Center for Microbial Oceanography Research and Education at UH Manoa. The director of the center, Dave Carl, is in Washington. He can't be with us, but we were supposed to have Dean Brian Taylor, Dean of the School of Ocean Earth Science at UH Manoa. So instead, Carol is going to accept the award <laughs> for Brian Taylor, for Dave Carl. Congratulations. The second three awards were presented to notable members of our Think Tech family. The honorees were... First, the show of the year, Beyond the Lines, hosted by Rusty Komori. Well, this is a great crowd of people here tonight, and I really want to thank Jay Fidel for his vision into doing Think Tech Hawaii and giving me this opportunity. Also, Carol Mon Lee 
You guys are incredible people. I always look forward to seeing you guys every time I see you. Um, also want to actually thank um, Reg Baker. I was on his show, Business in Hawaii, before I had my show. And also Roger Jelinek. I was on his uh, Book World show. Um, want to thank Robert McLean, my producer, Eric here. Um, I mean, they're, they're the guys that really do a lot behind the scenes to make us look as good as possible. And, um, and you know, they should be on my show. <laughs> um, I want to thank all of my guests. Uh, Doug Chin, who's here. Uh, Ray Suter, president of Kona Coffee Purveyors. Justin Cruz from Channel 2 News. And want to thank all of the, the hosts of Think Tech Hawaii because we all represent Think Tech. Then, the host of the year, Andrew Lanning, host of Security Matters Hawaii. We have so many great shows, and so thanks to all the hosts. I, I don't know, uh, I'm, I'm very humbled to get this, this award as host of the year. Um, Security is not top of mind for a lot of people, as you probably know. Um, it's a scary topic for many, and you know, it can se sensationalize by popular media, I think, and criminals get cast in a way that they shouldn't. Um, and most of security falls to an already overburdened public service organizations in our communities. So security matters really you know, reflects my belief that we can share information that will protect people, protect communities, and protect Hawaii, and that we can all get better if, if they can take advantage of some of the information that we put out there. So I have to thank Gordon Bruce for voluntoding me to start hosting shows down here. Uh, Gordo's not here tonight, but um, I, I blame him for all of my success. And, and, uh, uh, and to Jay for letting me continue to have an unstructured voice week after week after week without a script. I love that. Thank you, Jay. Um, obviously, our underwriters, we have an amazing technical staff. Thank you. But ultimately, we've got to thank the guests that we bring on for sharing their experience and the information that they share with our audience. Thank you. Finally, the underwriter of the year, the Hawaii Energy Policy Forum, which produces the Energy Wednesday show, Hawaii, the state of clean energy. Mahalo, uh, thank Jack, Jay, and Carol. Uh, we are so pleased with and honored by this award. We, as Jay said, we've been around for a long time. We are a wonky group, you know, Hawaii Energy Policy Forum. Uh, and until we uh, partnered with Think Tech and Jay, uh, that kind of took took us public. Um, we really didn't have much of, we were kind of a blip on the screen. And, and really, it's all about no matter how much we do in renewable energy and in energy efficiency, it really is involving the public. It really is engaging people in knowing what we're doing and taking the technology far and wide and making sure that it's applied to benefit the people. And, and it's through Think Tech and it's weekly shows. I mean, it's really hard making those shows up. <laughs> You've got to mass people week after week after week. So I, I, I thank all the hosts, because it's hard work, uh, bringing people together. And yet, the dialogue um, among the people who are on the show creates synergies that, that really develop, uh, as, as someone said before, you, you get another show, or you get more going. And I thank Jay and ThinkTech, uh, and I hope we keep going forever and ever. So mahalo, John. You want to say something? I'll just add that uh, the policy forum is, is really happy to be able to help support the, the energy shows on Think Tech Hawaii. It's really an important mechanism to get word out to the public. There's a lot of things going on, as you all know, and a lot of issues being discussed by policymakers and regulators. And it's a way to um, inform the public about, you know, the, the very complicated issues that are, you know, getting talked about and, and hopefully resolved and solved. And it, it brings it down to a level where, you know, communities can understand and participate more and, and know what they can do to help in not only themselves and their own pocketbooks, but, you know, the community as a whole as we go through an energy transformation here in the state. At the end, with the help of our intrepid photographer, Malcolm Makaru, we took our traditional group photo. As you can see, lots of people wanted to be in it, and everyone looked good. A day or two ago, I thought I'd take a ride, and soon Miss Fanny Bright was
was seated by my side. His horse was lean and lank. Misfortune seemed his lot. He got into a drifted bank, and then we all got sauce. We love parties, especially the Think Tech Christmas holiday party. It gives us an opportunity to express our appreciation to the citizen journalists, hosts, and guests who participate in our shows, and the great staff and underwriters who support our efforts and make it all possible. Thanks to Clay, Chapman, Iwamura, Police, and Nervell, attorneys at law, for sponsoring the party. They were there in force. Want to know more about them? Check out PacklawTeam.com. Lani Ikea and Fuller Hall, the venue for the party, are famous places, architectural icons in downtown Honolulu. If you want to know more about them or the Richard Street YWCA, check out YWCA.org. If you were there, we're glad you came. If you weren't, we hope you'll participate and support our efforts going forward and come to our Think Tech Christmas holiday party next year. As we say at ThinkTech, every day and every year, better. Want to know more about ThinkTech Hawaii? Want to participate and support our efforts? Check us out and enjoy our shows at thinktechhawaii.com or youtube.com slash thinktechhawaii or download our iPhone and Android smartphone apps to learn more. And now let's check out our ThinkTech schedule of events going forward. ThinkTech broadcasts its talk shows live on the internet from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. on weekdays. Then we broadcast our earlier shows all night long and on the weekends. And some people listen to them all night long and on the weekends. If you miss a show or if you want to replay or share any of our shows, they're all archived on demand on ThinkTechHawaii.com and YouTube. You can also download our app and watch them on your iPhone or Android. For our audio stream, go to thinktechhawaii.com slash audio. And we post all our shows as podcasts on iTunes. Visit thinktechhawaii.com for our weekly calendar and live stream and YouTube links. Or better yet, sign up on our email list and get our daily email advisories. Think Tech is a high-tech green screen studio at Pioneer Plaza. If you want to see it or be part of our live audience, 
Or if you want to participate in our shows, contact shows at thinktechhawaii.com. If you want to pose a question or make a comment during a show, call 808-374-2014 and help us raise public awareness on ThinkTech. Go ahead, give us a thumbs up on YouTube or send us a tweet at ThinkTechHI. We'd like to know how you feel about the issues and events that affect our lives in these islands and in this country. We want to stay in touch with you and we'd like you to stay in touch with us. Let's think together. We'll be right back to wrap up this week's edition of Think Tech. But first, we want to thank our underwriters. Okay, Cynthia, that wraps up this week's edition of ThinkTech. Remember, you can watch ThinkTech on Spectrum OC16 several times every week. Can't get enough of it, just like Cynthia does. For additional times, mm -hmm. check out OC16.tv. For lots more ThinkTech videos and for underwriting and sponsorship opportunities on ThinkTech, visit ThinkTechHawaii.com. Be a guest or a host, a producer or an intern, and help us reach and have an impact on Hawaii. Thanks so much for being part of our ThinkTech family and for supporting our open discussion of tech, energy, diversification, and national and global awareness in Hawaii. And of course, the ongoing search for innovation wherever we can find it. And for long-term Christmas Guan Chi for everyone. You can watch this show throughout the week and tune in next Sunday evening for our next important Think Tech episode. I'm Jay Fidel. And I'm Cynthia Sinclair. Aloha, everyone. Mm -hmm.